But first, if you're lucky enough to be traveling for vacation soon, you may have found out the state wants you to visit, the, the state that you want to visit has quarantine orders for Tennesseans. In many states, you have to have a recent test to prove you don't have COVID-19 or quarantine for 14 days. Sure, come visit, but don't go out. Mm. News 4 Nancy Amons is in that situation right now. Listen to what she's learned. Who couldn't use a little toes in the sand time? I'm flying to New England next week. But check before you fly or take a train or rent a hotel room. In some states, including Massachusetts, you have to prove you've had a negative COVID test result that was taken within 72 hours of your arrival. That's three days. Now, getting that test, it's complicated. You can get a free test at one of Metro's testing stations, but will you get the result in three days? There's still about a three or four day turnaround time from when a test is taken to when um, the state is notified and we're notified. I found a handful of health clinics in the mid-state that offer instant testing. You get the results in 13 minutes, starting price 250 in cash. But listen to what happens if you try to book. Due to the recent surge in COVID-19 cases, we are currently out of test kits at this location. That's what I heard at two locations of American Family Care Clinic. They have rapid tests, but not right now. A third location said they'd get back to me in a few days to book an appointment. Massachusetts is one of many states that says, take it seriously, you have to show a recent negative test or quarantine for 14 days. As we've said many times, the COVID is not taking the summer off, and we haven't either. It's effective August 1st, ignore the rules and face a fine. Of course, the question with any quarantine is, how is it going to be enforced? Nancy Amons, News 4, Nashville.